ni Tekna Msangi ya jishinde.com Welcome to day 28 of 30 days of AL and today we are going to look at the set current key. It is used to sort the contents of the table on the provided fields and select the key that contains the specified fields if possible. This key becomes the current key and is used by the find function, the next function, and any other function until another key is selected. And until this function is called, the table's primary key is used as the current key. The primary key defines the physical structure of, of how the table is stored in SQL Server. With the current, with the set current key, we can be able to tell the system that I want you to use the sort order of this particular field instead of the primary key. Because by default, when you use the find, when you are searching for records, the primary key sorts the data in ascending order by default. So I will just uh, message out the first record of these 30 days of a L table without the primary key being set. So we say, um, I could say the entry number, entry number with the primary key at the default will be days of a L dot number, the number, not entry number. So we, without setting up the current key, what if we sort the number in descending order using the current key? What will happen? So days of L dot set current key to the number, we set the number as the current key, and then we use another function days of l dot set ascending to be false it picks uh, it takes a field of the number and then uh, either it's true or false so we we message out to the entry number when we have defined this field in ascending before the, the video i ran this query to just insert a million records in the table so that we can have a huge data set to used to test okay what is happening so we have now been able to set the current key something something here some comments are not working okay what is the next thing that we would like to do just uh, before we run the table, so that when we are testing, we test everything at once. Uh, so the uh, last record is this. The last thing that we'd like to do with the set current key is use now a name as the current key to sort the records. So we will use this current key of the name. Here I am. Um, here I am. So at this point, we will say the current key is the name. And uh, we fetch, with, with, we won't set it as, as descending, but we just set it as the name. Remember, we can even have name and description. As the current key, like you, um, you can set one more than one field. So this will be the it will sort by name and then by description. So here, sorted by name, uh, name is that. So it's advisable. Remember our name, the name that we have used here is not a key. It's not even a secondary key in our table. So. This can lead to speed issues if you are using, especially with a very big data set, because the table, the query will use the main table instead of the index. So it's advisable that we create an index via a secondary key so that we can be able to retrieve the name and the description 
that have been set in form of an index. So we can add an index in our table for the name and the description. So when we go to this table, it has a definition for keys, and this is where we'll add our index. This is the primary key field, but we would like to add a secondary key field. So the way in which I'll add, I will say the key uh, name key will be a key for the name only. I just need the name to be a key. And here I will include the description. So when you go deep into indexes, you can have included fields. So where you have an index with some included fields, so that in case the query optimizer is searching for or data in the table and they are searching for this particular name that is being sorted the query will look for this index that will create we'll we'll see the index in sql server and if it if the description is needed it will just get it from an included field that is part of the index so this one will not be fetched on demand but it'll, it will just be included in that index so this is how i have set my index to be displayed in sql server but again if you're using the set current Key. It's highly advisable that you only use fields that are available in the keys. And if it's a default table that doesn't have field defined in the key, uh, create a table extension and add the fields to you extend the table and create those secondary uh, keys and use those fields before using the set current key. Otherwise, you'll just be having uh, performance issues. Okay, day 28. We are back here. So it's time to test our application. The first iteration will be the number without setting a current key. And then in descending order, remember, anytime we are using the find and the find set, it usually sets uses the set current key with the, uh, the, the primary key that is defined here by default because that is the first key or the, the main key. And the last one will be the set current key with a name and description that we have set as a key, a secondary key in the days of a L table. And remember, the tip is always use keys that have been defined there because they will use indexes in SQL Server. It's time to run our application. This is the table with the a million records generated. And at this point, I will just preview the 30 days of AL, day 28, and I will expect a message. So 645 is the first number without any filtering, without any sorting. By default, the uh, table, okay, the table is retrieved by the primary key as the current key in ascending order. So the last record is when we say set ascending false for the primary key, we get the last record as 1,649,000. And again, when we set, when you, okay, sorted by name, we get still 645 to be the first a key because uh, this 645 is found here. When you look at K, uh, all of these are system gen. So K is the first one. Z is the last one. World Cup. Okay, W is the thing. So if we, okay, if we set, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. What if we set the current key to be as descending? Uh, just uh, 28. We need to set the name to be descending. We expect Zanzibar to be the value that will be displayed. So we just set the set ascending with the name to be false. And build and run.
Again, we preview. We expect the three values. The 645, the last record, and 646, which represents Zanzibar as the when you set with descending with the name. So it's retrieving with this particular name. So what has happened behind the scenes in SQL Server? Here is my instance of SQL Server. The table 30 days of L. Where is it? I should be able to search it. Times we have so many tables, but let's just get to it. Yeah, it was at the beginning because of this number. So the table is here. In the indexes, the name key that we have defined created an index. By default, the primary key usually creates this uh, index, the clustered one. Uh, I think this one, the system ID also creates its own index, uh, an unclustered index for just the system ID. That is uh, by default by, from Microsoft. But when you define a key, a secondary key, it creates an index by default. And this index, as long as it's enabled, when uh, as long as it's active, the field is active, you will be able to uh, get values. You will be able to use the index in your search operations instead of the whole table. So the query optimizer, it's like saying uh, it will go to chapter. This index is like defining chapters in our table. So instead of going, if maybe you're going to chap the chapter that defines uh, maybe functions in AL, so you go and click a bookmark maybe in your on our website and you click a bookmark that takes you to functions in al instead of going to the whole documentations trying to look into what where functions are located you go directly to that page that contains that uh, particular functionality and this is the ability that you get when you define uh, this particular uh, secondary key so that's it for this video on set current key. It's a very good uh, function, but use it with care. Make sure that you can be able to set the secondary keys and only use fields that have been defined in the secondary key because it is as your search operations. So I will see you in day 29 of 30 days of AL. See you there. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like subscribe and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss the next one.